And maybe one of these days you have to learn that love is needed. To have lost love was a hurting lesson, but to have had love was a definite lesson. Next time I won't miss. So how did you prepare for your role as Lamar on BMF? Did you know much about the, the Black Mafia family before you joined? Yeah, I mean, like, um, I, I knew how uh, how much, like, uh, impact they've had on, like, hip-hop culture and stuff, like, especially in the early, like, 2000s. Yeah. Um, so you've always heard the name Big Meech circling around. And I've seen a couple documentaries on, like, them and stuff and... Uh, but I had getting to know them now, yeah. it, it's mind blowing in terms of the things that um, both the brothers achieved and where they came from. Um, in terms of how I got into the role, um, I was just looking at some articles, publications. Um, our showrunner Randy Huggins was sending me things just to kind of look over things about Detroit because it's set in the 80s. So we kind of had to go research like that period in time. And um, yeah, it went it went from there really. Uh, my character is like loosely based on someone, and um, I was given you know some heads up about him and stuff like that. So which was which was good to kind of get my teeth sunk into. And a lot of people, especially on Twitter, were surprised that mm. you're British because your accent's so good. <laughs> so how what yeah. did you do to perfect the accent? I I'd, I'd always say like I was brought up in the nineties, and in the nineties we were just dominated by like American TV, like Nickelodeon, Disney channels and all that kind of stuff. And hip hop, music. So like a lot of, um, I guess my ears was very like tuned to it, you know, cause that's that's what we was listening to all the time. And, 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 and African American culture was like black Mecca for like every <laughs> black person around the world. You see what I'm saying? So, um, that was like maybe like my foundations, but in terms of this, it was just kind of like when I was on set, I kind of would speak in the accent more time than than not. Just just to get the kind of the the, the, the muscularity around my my mouth for it, because if I was to speak a little bit that way and then switch it, it can get kind of like modelled up. Yeah, so. As, as weird as as corny as it felt sometimes, you just have to push through, <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. What was it like working with Little Meech, Da Vinci and the rest of the cast and crew? Yeah, like Little Meech is like, like that's that's like my brother, man. Like, I, I love that guy, man. He's, he, he was dope, same as Da Vinci, same. They're just very, everybody was like, a, it was like a family vibe, mm -hmm. to be honest. Like, um, I was really, really impressed with Meech since this was like his first job. And he was like fully, fully committed to it from day one. Like professionalism was on a hundred, you know, because it, it meant a lot to him, you know, um, telling a story about his dad and his uncle. Um, da Vinci, um, more experienced, done like loads of TVs. He's on Broadway at the moment. Um, so he like, he was, he was great. Just working with, he kind of knew the ropes already, like kind of did. Um, and everybody else, I mean, Cash was dope working with, like, with Gianna, all of them, like, all of them. Miles Bullock was like, he's like my, he plays slick. Yeah. <laughs> he plays slick. Like, he was, he was, he was my dude, kind of like, like, off and on camera. Um, everyone, man, I, I can name them all. I'll be just reading off loads of names. <laughs> and we can see Lamar is not to be played with, right? So how far do you mm. think your character Lamar is willing to go to kind of, Get what he wants. Any, there is no limit. <laughs> <laughs> there is no. I don't think there is. Like he's um, he's really calculative, and like when it comes to getting what he needs to get, he's gonna get it by any means necessary. Um, and that's fun. It's it's more so the writers, man. The writers write it, and I look here and I'm like. Really, <laughs> we're doing we do this today. <laughs> but it's fun. No, no, it's fun. It's, it's really been great playing him. We still don't know who shot Terry. So, do you mm. think Noir has anything to do with it? Ah, uh, I don't know. I can't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. 
But possibility oh, no. out of one to a hundred, hundred being like high possibility. I mean, do you know? Do you know what? It's like imagine if like there's like you're playing I don't know like a murder mystery game, and everybody knows this one guy for being on smoke all the time. Obviously, yeah. you're gonna think it's him, innit? You know what I'm saying? Um, so I don't. I can understand all the like fingers being pointed at Lamar, but to be honest, I actually. Obviously, I can't reveal anything, but I can't remember. Like, I don't... <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So, so, as the episodes go on, we see Lamar grow, like, even more sinister with, like, every episode. It doesn't matter mm. if it's enemies, close friends, or children. Mm. It's like anyone yeah. can get it. So, how much further is he willing to go, or can he go, to kind of regain control of the streets? I think I think that's what it... Um... I think that's what it starts off as, and then, and I think there's there's a bit more hunger for power or, or little things, and like it, essentially, Meech and Terry are in the way, and it they're the young little dudes who's coming, and he kind of just he's, he wants to take them out, but even within that, you got Meech, you got um yeah Meech messing with Monique, and then that kind of has his brain somewhere else because of the daughter and the family. So I think he's willing to, depending on what it is, I think he's willing to take it there, anywhere. You know, I don't think there's no, there's no, there's no kind of limit or like, he feels any compassion or empathy for somebody if he has to get rid of them. Season two of BMF has now been confirmed. So mm. will you be returning for season two? <laughs> You have to wait and see. <laughs> <laughs> you have to okay, wait and see. And my last question, now that you're part mm. of the Stars family, could we possibly see you pop up in any of the power shows or? Again, like, <laughs> all of these <laughs> things are <laughs> not in my control. Um, you never know. Like, it's been it's been awesome working with Stars. It's been awesome working, like, in the kind of the the power universe that, that 50 Cent's created. Um, and there's going to be a lot more, I feel, coming through. Um, because, like, there's a lot of... Um, it's got a massive audience for it. Um, you never know. It could end up being, like, a Marvel thing where, like... It's <laughs> like, Marvel for, you know... Yeah. Yeah, you yeah it's know. our Marvel in a way, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>